machines manufactured by the company Junkeri are exported to countries with rough terrain nearly all over the world. Environments where, for example, the bogies and axles of a tractor's trailer are heavily burdened. Using a welding robot in the manufacturing process ensures the strength and equal quality of such parts. Talbury Robotics have developed a layout for this purpose, which is based on RRT300 and RRT500 servo manipulation units and a PMU500 robot transfer unit, which enables the complete welding of bogies and axles of a trailer in one working cycle. Since a very high welding voltage must be used during the assembly of bogies and axles, two axle manipulation units are used in the robot stations to enable the turning of a workpiece to the best possible position during welding of all seams. Good results have been achieved because it is possible to rotate the workpiece around both axles in both tables. A very high combustion ratio of the arc flame at the highest possible welding voltage has been reached due to the technology of the station, which has yielded a much higher production rate compared with hand welding. The working cycle has been planned so that the left and right halves of a bogey are welded in the two-axled RRT300 servo manipulation table, and the bogey frame proper of which there is only one in a tractor trailer, is welded in the strong RRT500 servo manipulation table. This robot station is the newest of the five Junkari users, and it meets the high quality requirements remarkably well, because the manufacturer of the manipulation units, Talbury Robotics, has used the most advanced components in the field. The large main components of tractor trailers, that is, the body and bed, are welded by a strong robot station consisting of two rotating tables and a robot transfer and crosswise placer unit, all supplied by Talbury Robotics. The parts of a bed are loaded directly to the positions in the welding jig, where hydraulic pressing mechanisms lock them into place, and no time-consuming bridge spot welding is needed. Further advantages of the technique are saved space and easier handling of large, heavy workpieces. The welding jig is attached to a grill-type RT2000 servo rotation table, which is controlled by the robot synchronically with its own axles. Since the diameter of a bed is two and a half meters, the repeatability of the rotation table must be absolutely accurate so that the welding points of the robot stay exactly in their place, even in the more extended areas of the workpiece. The welding of a body takes place in the same robot station in another rotation table of the same type. Since there are many seams in the piece, and the automatic welding time is long, a great deal of attention was given to the position of the yarn feeding device and the choice of the torch. In addition to this, the nozzle cleaning unit is attachable, which makes sure that the torch stays clean. Junkari purchased its first Hitachi robot at the beginning of the 1980s and it has continuously developed its production ever since by automizing its welding. This long-lasting cooperation with an Hitachi robot supplier has brought successful investments in automization and a confidence-based customer relationship, which form a strong basis for more and more advanced uses for robots in the future.